Hello folks, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Hope you're well. Uh, today we're testing some more kitchen gadgets. If you missed any of the other kitchen gadget testing videos today, I think this is number like 16. Uh, don't worry, by the way, I've got so many more upstairs, so many more arriving, so many that you're sending me as well. We're probably gonna get up to uh, Kitchen Gadget 100 at this rate and beyond. Uh, if you missed any of the others, uh, grab the popcorn and check out the playlist. There's a link up here and down below. Uh, I hope you enjoy these videos as much as I, I enjoy making them. So without further ado, uh, let's get going. First up, my friends, uh, I've got quite a few uh, novelty salt and pepper shakers upstairs, still to show you, but I thought I'd pick this one out today. Check this out, actual size, look at that. Uh, it looks like an angry Mexican burglar because it is a Mexican themed salt and pepper shaker wrestling ring. I'm very excited about this. It's by a company called Kickerland um, and it's ceramic. Ooh, expensive. And I do apologize because somebody actually did send me this, but I've forgotten who you are. So thank you, whoever you are. Um, set of two salt and pepper shakers and wrestling ring tray. La Lucha Libre is a big part of Mexican culture. The salt versus pepper shakers fight each other in the ring to bring fun to your table uh, with traditional Mexican style. This product was designed as part of the Kickerland X Sandborns design challenge. Amazing. I might have to check that out, see if there's any other mother quirky stuff. So uh, let's see. Ooh. Oops. Oh yeah, okay, cool. I, I was always a big fan of wrestling, particularly uh, in the late 80s, 90s, you know, Hulk Hogan when it's at its prime. I find it a little bit over the top now. Oh wow, check this out. That is is the ring. Okay, I think it is a visual thing. I was kind of hoping these were gonna be like wind up, but they are, it's, it's very expensive quality. I'll give you that, it's made in China. I was kind of hoping you'd wind them up and they'd be like, da, 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 and like they'd wrestle each other, but no, they don't. They just have these little bag packs uh, where you put the salt and pepper in, and I guess you sprinkle it out of your head. So, not out of your own head, out of their heads. That's just going everywhere, but hey ho, I'll tidy that up in a sec. Oh my gosh, I'm just like seasoning my table. Uh, it does feel right to put like the black pepper in the black one and the white salt in the white one. So, I think that's probably what you're supposed to do so you remember which one's which. All right, we've plugged them both in, and look, we can shake our salt and pepper in the ring, and then they can like fight in some sort of big seasoning fest but they don't really fight. I was actually, to take this up a notch, as I say, little twisty wind up so they bump into each other, would be much better. I do actually quite like this as a novelty little thing, so I think I'm permanently gonna put it over there in the background somewhere. So look out for it in all my other videos. We have got ourselves a bacon gadget, my friends, the man's ultimate gift. Um, this one, I think, got sent to me from Europe. Um, the language is uh, croquant bacon, in schlisch onkel minuten. Uh, does that mean? Schlush, what schlush mean? Something minutes? The perfect croquette bacon mat, mindevit lager cholesterol. Mmm, lager cholesterol. Don't bring that drink out, no one will buy that. Well, maybe they will actually. So it's basically a, a microwave bacon cooker, uh, but I just wanted to show you these serving suggestions. I've just spotted this. Ideal for, ah, oh, oh, ah, sorry, oh, ah, sounds like a farmer. Uh, bacon burgers, that sounds, you know, sounds okay. Uh, bacon and, is that urine? No, we'll just skim past that, but it's like bacon, eggs with cucumber and salad. I've never seen it served like that, but anyhow. And this one, salad garnering. That looks horrendous. Don't, don't make that, folks. It's got the dodgy sellotape seal on it. I've got a feeling this is second hand, so I'm definitely washing it. Oh dear. <laughs> nice comb there for the hair. Um, wow, okay, so we have got these petitions and our tray, which I imagine is gonna get filled with fat when we microwave it. Some very retro uh, instructions indeed. They aren't in English at all. I can see one minute per ribs, which I think could be recipe, I'm not sure. So what we're gonna do, we'll wash this up, shove some bacon in and bung it in for a minute. Keep your eye on it. Just for reference, this one is still going strong. This is one of my favorite gadgets ever. Oh, just slotting these compartments in. It feels like a bit of a torture device. Getting my strips of bacon and then just uh, putting it <laughs> into its own individual compartment. Okay, let's, uh, let's fill it up all the way. All right, that's my last strip in there and that is amazing quality smoked bacon, loving it. In fact, um, let me let my dogs get their seal of approval on it. Be nice and share then, go on then. Is that good? You like it? I'll take that as a yes. I think that was uh, a seal of approval, wasn't it guys? Um, my only fear with this is that it's gonna shrivel up but there's only one way to find out, so let's get it in the microwave. So that's going in there for one minute, but I am gonna be quite flexible with it. If it's not looking cooked, I'm gonna keep going, and then we'll let you know 
Oh, starting to like pop a little bit already. I'll let you know the exact cooking time. Oh, wow. So basically people like their bacon cooked different ways. There can be quite a bit of a debate going on with that. And this is just cooked, uh, but a lot of people like it crispy. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna keep getting it in there and see how we get on. There's definitely a lot more sizzling going on in there. So that's been another minute. Hello, bacon. Oh yeah, uh, so you can see there's a bit more color to it, teeny bit more fat in the tray, but I'm gonna keep going, folks. I want it crispy. That's three minutes. Holy schmoly, that's shrunk. Look, where's my bacon gone? Look, it's always like shrunk up. Ha, huh. whoa, that is hot. Okay, I am gonna, I'm just gonna go, keep going right through now. I know I keep saying I'm gonna do it till it's crispy. I wanna make sure it is crispy. I've just got a feeling though right now, it's gonna keep shriveling up as it crisps and it's gonna basically end up looking like the mini bacon that I used on my last uh, mini food video, the mini cooked breakfast. That is the five minute point. Oh my God. <laughs> you said we wanted our bacon crispy. <laughs> Look what's happened to it. Look at the size of it. Um, it's crispy though. Maybe I'm just a bit quirky with this, but I actually prefer my bacon uh, after like the two minute stage. Yeah, just, you know, a little bit soft. I don't really like crispy bacon that much, uh, but I know particularly in America with your pancake snap, you do like it crispy like this. I'm sure the dogs um, are not really concerned either way. Come on in, get that down, yeah. Is it good? How was that? All right, guys, was that nice? Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna make a bacon sandwich for the girls with the rest of it, but um, that worked. Just to show you though, it did go from this long shard of bacon like that. And then it sort of like halves in size by the time you crisp it up to that. Look at that. Bonkers. Right, next up folks, we need a bowl of water for this one. And um, I gotta be brutally honest, these are quite fetishy. Uh, this gadget is actually some gloves used for scrubbing vegetables, like peeling vegetables. Uh, but the packaging it's come in makes it look like it was sold out of the back of someone's car. Um, but hey, it's all about the product, right? But they're basically like gloves. Whoa, what was that? Oh, good God, <laughs> it looks like a fish or something. Um, yes, they are gloves with a very heavily ribbed, nipply effect on it. Could be a good way to have a shave. Let's give them a wash. So I've got three vegetables to try this on. One that will be extremely practical, two that is probably gonna look quite rude, and three, if it does work, it will blow my mind and I will use these forever. First up, potatoes. You know that song, uh, you say tomato, I say tomato. Does anyone actually say potato? Because they say you say potato, I say potato. Do it. Does anyone actually say? Oh my God. <laughs> Just imagine if Michael Jackson was on a budget. Sorry, um, love that guy. Uh, and he used this rather than a sequin glove. It could have completely changed everything. Oh my God. So these are some dirty old potatoes. And what we're gonna do is dunk them in the water like so, and then use our handy glove things. Oh, God, I'll probably give it a little bit of, bit of elbow grease. <laughs> Boston's looking at me at the moment. He's going, doing the, help t the, head, t the head tilt. He's going, hmm, hmm, all right boy. Something's working. There's actually dirt on my hands. I think I've got to dance with it. Whoa. My hands are dirty. And if you can see that, the potato is kind of Sean, which is an unfortunate name if your name is Sean, because you also mean being shaved. Uh, it's getting that initial layer off. It's not completely there yet, but then you can use individual fingers to really home in on your zone. The potato zone. Well, I gotta be honest, I don't think it's the most efficient thing, but it has worked. So if you compare that with that. <laughs> Barry, for God's sake. Yeah, if you compare that with that, it has actually worked. So uh, let's try it on a carrot now, which might look rude. Dunking the carrot in there and... Okay, that does look rude. <laughs> I'm just doing a Chinese burn. It doesn't look awkward or I'm um, polishing the top of a, a microphone. But I tell you what, that has actually worked an absolute charm. So if you can get around uh, the innuendo of using it, um, I was trying not to laugh when I was doing that, but um, that's pretty darn cool. Look how shaved, how shorn that carrot is. All right, Sean. Last one is uh, the sweet potato, which I actually find a lot more stubborn and butch compared to a standard potato. Uh, even peeling them sometimes can be a little bit tough. There's other ways around it. There's hacks where you can put it in the microwave, stuff like that. But uh, it's very uh, rustic and terrain filled. There's lots of mud and dirt on it. So let's see if these can do the sweet potato. <gasps> it's bold. Amazing. 
So here's the thing, it's working, um, but what you're finding is when you normally peel a sweet potato, you get that little bit of orange poking through. Now this is actually just taking off the very top layer, so it's giving you more sweet potato uh, for your money, but um, it's removing that first bit of layer of dirt, but it, you know, you're not getting every little bit, you're gonna need to get your finger right around it and scrub it all finely. So I would be much better down the line of peeling this, but I am amazed with these gloves for doing the potato. I mean, look at that, and old Sean there, the carrot, so good. Oh, next up we are using uh, two egg gadgets in one. First up is this colour changing egg timer. Now loads of you guys have been sending me links to this one going, this is amazing. Uh, but I've had it upstairs in my box for like four months. So here it is, welcome to the channel, uh, colour changing egg timer. Uh, it's basically red. Uh, and as it cooks and gets hotter in simmering water, the red shrinks down. It's got lines that say hard, medium or soft, so you can get your egg the way you want it. So if you want a hard boiled egg, uh, which is what we're looking for for this other gadget, uh, you want to get it nice and small. Uh, so that's what we'll do with that. It should be straightforward. But this thing is the throw egg. Uh, I think I might have got a very budget version of this from abroad because the English on it is not that great. Something about the packaging freaks me out as well. There's a very sinister girl holding up the golden egg, uh, and I'll explain what that means in just a minute. And then there's two eggs here going, have you not seen the golden egg? I'm different. Oh, ha ha, we are the golden egg. Magical golden eggs, healthy and nutritious. So basically the concept of a golden egg is where it's already sort of scrambled or shook up inside so the white and the yolk is already mixed together. So when you boil it, it is basically golden. Uh, now some of you might not know this, I've actually appeared on a show called The Gadget Show in the UK a couple of times on TV here in the UK. Uh, and I actually watched someone try this out and it failed. So I'm interested to see what it's like. Egg shaker is a carefully designed kitchen utensils. Simple, easy, and fun. Housewives simply been thrown into intact eggs. So the instructions is telling you to grab a housewife and throw them into eggs. Inside the eggs shaker, a buckle pulling the handle on both sides so that the egg will spin up like playing gyroscope that after more than 10 seconds until the appearance intact, egg white and yolk completely mixed golden egg was born. I feel like both my daughters could write better English than this. I think they've just done Google Translate. The kitchen has a small artifact. Mothers do not worry about the children. Choose to eat protein or egg yolk of the problem. Suitable for a variety of cooking methods, the eggs cooked golden shaved, golden shit. Uh, tastes delicious and nutritionally balanced. Well, that is the worst translation ever, isn't it? So here it is. It's it does look like some sort of weird slingshot, but you basically enclose your egg in that and spin it around. So. Uh, Let's have some fun with it. Okay, okay, so the ring comes off like that. Our egg goes in there. I am not confident about this. And the in English in the instructions is even worse. I'm not even gonna read that out. Nestle the egg in there. Okay, that's pretty uh, it's pretty neat in there. By the way, you can just do this process with your hand and just shake it up, Taylor Swift style. Yes, that is now locked in place. Yeah, you can just sort of carry it around with you, like around your neck, you go, look. Hey, that's an amazing necklace. Now I'm just uh, carrying an egg around for boiling it later. Hold the rope around the handle with both hands. Arms rotate in the same direction at the same time more than a dozen laps. Hen pull out both hands. So all of a sudden a hen's gonna pull out their hands. An instantly relaxed pull again that when pulled at the end. So you can make eggs body dumped in, body dumped? This is like a murder confession. I just think I'm just gonna fling it around everywhere. So it says to do this, 12 laps, I think that might be about 20 laps, and then pull. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is so stupid. Can you hear that? Listen to this. <laughs> it's a workout, Ugh, 201. But let's not forget, there is an actual egg in there, and it's probably getting spun. I just got, felt some wet in my face, and there's a sweat from my brow. I hope the egg hasn't cracked in there. All right. Oh, I'll tell you what, it does sound a bit watery. That's the thing, you don't actually know, do you? You don't know, so let's, let's boil it up. Ugh. That thing's got a really weird backing on it. But I don't think that needs to come off, so I'm just gonna sit it in there. Ugh. And then in goes our, uh, our egg. To speed up the boiling point, I'm just adding a little bit of salt in the water. I think that's a bit of a myth, actually. I don't know if that generally does work, so uh, let me know down below what you think. In other news, I've just spotted we've got a little crack on this egg. I don't know if that's gonna affect things, so I'm gonna quickly whip up another one. Because if nothing else, it is just a lot of fun. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, this one's got white spilling out of it already, so uh, hopefully this one will save the day. Oh my God, it's actually made its own little omelet in the pan. 
Guys, look, it's all going wrong. Both the eggs, I think, have cracked now. I haven't got any more eggs. Can I cook a pug? The one bit of good news is that gadget is actually working. Oh no, I'm wrong. This actually egg is still intact. We might be okay. I think he's kind of got himself like a little eggy mullet going on there, but to be fair to it, look, if you look at the crack there, it is holding its shape, the rest of it underneath, and it is slightly yellow in color. I don't know if you can see that too well. Um, I'm just gonna jump now to the step where we cool it down and see if this has worked. Here we go then, folks. So I've just taken out what should have a red dot in it, and the red dot has completely gone, and I'm pouring boiling water on my work surface near my phone. I'm gonna change that immediately. But more importantly, cold water here, and our egg is going in. That is the one that didn't crack. I, I generally thought they'd both cracked. Might as well get Mr. Omelette out. Look at the state of that, unbelievable. In this goes, yeah. So I bet that feels amazing from the like, ah. Oh. I'm gonna let these fully cool down and then we'll peel it and see if we've got golden eggs. Isn't that from Willy Wonka? Yes, it is from the Willy Wonka film. The first one, the retro one, where it's like, uh, how much for the egg, Mr. Wonka? He's like, they're not for sale. Which reminds me, I do have an Oompa Loompa fancy dress outfit upstairs that I need to make more use of. Maybe for a future gadget video. Okay, uh, these eggs have uh, cooled down relatively <laughs> sufficiently. Look at Mr. Mullet like that. Oh, it looks like some sort of weird fish or something. Ugh. It's kind of semi-peeled it for me already, but there's loads of gaps in it from where the eggs escape, like loads of little air bubbles and stuff. It's actually getting quite exciting. I feel like it's Jurassic Park. Oh, God. There it is, that's the bad one. Um, so we basically made an omelette in an egg like that. It's kind of like greeny colored. I wouldn't say that's golden. It looks more like, like a century egg, which brings back bad memories of a previous video. Speaking of which, I found this on the packaging just while it was cooking. Check out that bottom picture. There is like some sort of weird black worm protruding from the egg. Ugh. But if that one's worked, then this one really should have. Oh my gosh. There we have it, folks. I believe that's kind of golden in color, isn't it? Um, it's certainly not as bad as that one. I'm just gonna slice it to make sure we got enough yolk through. <gasps> yes, we did! Wow, I wasn't sure if I uh, spun it enough, but there we go. A whole, uh, I would call it more magnolia egg, but it needs seasoning. How the heck would you get seasoning in there? This is our last gadget today. It is the cheesy grin, which here in the UK just means somebody with a cheesy grin. So if you know someone with a cheesy grin around the world and you don't use that phrase, you now have my permission to use it. Hey, cheesy grin. Uh, basically, it's a bread cutter, sandwich cutter. Coupe sandwich or cortador de emparadados. I know which sounds the most amazing out of those. Uh, so you can make a nice smiley bread sandwich like that. If you don't like cheese, I guess you can call it a hammy grin. You can just say like ham to make it look like its tongue. Or of course you can make the uh, grilled cheese with a smiley face, which is what we are gonna try and do right now. All right, so there he is. Uh, I guess that's the company it's made by, Fred, on his nose. That could be quite cool to use that side, but we go uh, for that. And we're gonna use just one bit. We use one plane because that's actually uh, Bit of bread's a little bit worn, but we're gonna still use it. We still love you, mate. We're gonna press it in like so. Oh yeah, really get that. Mm, 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 mm. All right. Oh wow, <laughs> that's amazing. I don't know if it's just me, but that reminds me of the face that a jellyfish makes. Or kind of like, um, have you seen Scary Movie 2 when they did that rip off of Scream, where it's kind of like a, a very merry, uh, scary man, you know, with the white mask. That's that. That's his face right there. And look, you've even got his face protruding out. <laughs> I want to keep these eyes in the mouth. Look, boink, boink. So with a grilled cheese, of course, you do uh, butter your bread one side. I guess you could butter it before you cut it, but either way, it's going to get messy. You turn one side over, just uh, layer our cheese on. Let's just turn this around so you can see it. Mr. Smiley face on top like so. cha -choo. So there we go, into our pan. Let's cook it up. All right, let's flip it over. Whoa. Okay, that worked. Kind of feel like I want to just toast up his face as well, just so that's in there. I think that's ready. Here we go. Oh, yes! <gasps> it's done it! Check that out! Although it looks like, has he got like some sort of tooth sticking up? That'll do. His eyebrows are kind of gone, but yeah. This feels a bit sinister, but... Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. My mind's telling me no. Mm. There we are then folks, I, get it, I, way, eyes, uh, think this uh, was a really fun little gadget to finish on. So there we are, Kitchen Gadget 16 uh, is in the bag. Don't forget to check out the playlist for the rest of the Kitchen Gadget videos, a whole barrel of laughs. If you've seen other cool gadgets, uh, send me links to them, or if you want to send any, uh, do get in touch. Don't forget to subscribe for regular recipes and food fun. Do you have fun, guys? Yeah? I've got to take them on a walk now. I think Boston's dying for a poo. Uh, see you next time.